All I know is work. It keeps me happy and alive. Anything you want that can be done in a bar can be done inside the bus. I can do cocktails, I can do I can do beer. Hi, I'm Gomez and I created Grain and Garnish. Grain and Garnish is a mobile bar. Outside of the bus, it looks it just looks like a regular school bus that's painted black, but when you get inside, it's beautiful and it can go anywhere. Houses, apartments, parties, weddings. First thing they have to do is tell me the amount of people, what kind of experience they want, craft cocktails, or they want just standard stuff. Any place that anybody's welcome to bring it, I'll be there. In order for someone to hire me, they have to purchase the liquor separate. Only thing I'm selling is my expertise and my bartending skills. I bought the bus like three years ago. I was consistently working, so I didn't have time to really work on the bus. But once COVID hit, I had time because I, I lost my job. The idea came from food trucks. Like I saw food trucks, but I'd never really seen a bar bus. So I created the bar bus just based on the fact that I wanted to create something that I didn't know existed. So I'd seen a tap car before and I thought it was a great idea. So I created my own, it's my daily driver now. So I got my start at a local bar. I started as a cook and then I asked many times to try to become a bartender, but the owner said I didn't have the right personality. Is he either wanted like very attractive women or guys that knew about sports and I am neither of those, but eventually uh, someone got let go. So they, they were in a pinch and they, they moved me up to server. Now being a bartender for eight years and all the bars that I've worked at, uh, that has shaped me as a person very drastically. I'm still not very the best at talking. <laughs> I'm a lot better than I was before. I'm subbing maple syrup for honey, just, just to add a little bit different complexity to the drink. I thought craft cocktails were for like twirly mustache guys and just people that really had like a chip on their shoulders. Turns out you can just look like a regular dude, have a bunch of tattoos and just do awesome stuff. And uh, I fell in love with it and it really pushed me forward at that bar. I wouldn't be where I am today without that place. Day starts off with checking emails and it's to see what events people would like. And once I get through emails, hang out with my dog, Beethoven. He's a little rascal. We don't really plan stuff every day. We just kind of just wake up and do what we want to do because life's life. <laughs> yeah, my support system when times are pretty tough, my girlfriend Kylie, Kylie is very good. She knows when to give me my space and she knows when to, to like be around me if, I, if I'm having a tough one. I've been very fortunate to have very good friends and family. Before the website service, it was just all word of mouth. But I've had people all over Seattle now emailing me for my services, which wouldn't be possible without GoDaddy. So GoDaddy has really helped my business grow. There's, there's always something you don't enjoy, but like there's nothing that really sticks out that I like absolutely hate. Because I mean, I'm doing what I love. It makes me happy. Even if it's not enjoyable, I'm still enjoying it because it's mine and I built it from scratch. Uh, if you don't love what you do and you want to just do something for money, that's fine. This has nothing to do with money for me. It's just building a company from scratch. I was very passionate about cocktails and like being mobile and being able to like cater to people's needs. Being passionate and very happy are something you should strive for, not only just in life, but when you're trying to start a business. That's what I build the business on. Money comes and goes, but uh, if you're happy, then you're, you're successful. To call myself an entrepreneur is, 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 is very weird. Like I never thought it would be a thing. I always thought I'd be just working for like other people. But then once I started doing the bus, I got a real taste of working for myself and it's pretty amazing. I'm talking with my chef friend. So what we want to do is have intimate dinners inside the bus. We're going to drive to like either people's houses or go to like remote locations. So my friend will cook outside the bus in like a canopy area and I'll be building the cocktails inside the bus and it'll be like real fancy dinners. One of the main things that I would love to do is start satellite companies. That's the main dream, is just to grow the business to be all over the country. Grand Garnish, across America.